All right, it's Pastor Michelle here, and I'm here at Zor. I'm in the parking lot, and I'm thinking about what is it that we do to be welcoming to people during this time of COVID. Um, and one of the things that occurs to me is um, we have some folks at Zor who volunteer to make our grounds look beautiful. Look at these beautiful flowers. We don't have very many people coming to the church building these days, but look how welcoming they are. They really make people feel welcome. I know they really boosted my spirits when I came in on a Sunday um, to do worship with Mel and my husband Robert and our daughter Anne. And it's a Tuesday, so we have dinner here that's a to-go dinner. And I'm gonna interview some of our folks here in just a minute. Um, here's the sign that we have out front that says all are welcome. But as I said in my uh, email devotional, that doesn't really mean anything unless we put flesh on that. A sign is just a wooden sign unless we really embody that welcome. So here we are, Tuesday dinner during the time of COVID. So we got the, the table set up here and people can pick up food and they also can get a hot meal. Um, and in just a minute, we'll see what that meal looks like. So I'm gonna go inside and see that. Mm -hmm. Here come the meals. There's four coming to go. And here are our helpers. We got our our cook here, Connie. Yeah. We got, is that Levi, right? Levi. Levi's helping. Levi's our regular helper here. He helps to run the food. And Xander's helping today too. They're friends. We're glad to have you guys helping out. That's awesome. And there's Chris back there behind there with her tie dye on. <laughs> Chris and Connie, what does it mean to you to be welcoming people to the dinner during this time of COVID? Well, we're just happy that we can do this and that we, um, how do I articulate this? Mm -hmm. That, um, you know, people are still able to come and we can serve them at the door. It's really important yeah. uh, to be able to serve them because We've been doing this for at least 10 years now. Yeah. And, and you know, the people like to come. They much rather have it inside because they love to socialize. They come at 5 and they stay till we start kicking them out at 6.30. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it just means a lot to me to be able to do this. Yeah. It, it's probably yeah, my best day okay. just to be able to know, number one, that I'm helping people that are hungry, and what some of these hungry? people truly are. <clears throat> one man was sitting in his car eating, I'm sure he was homeless, mm. and I went to ask if they would like to take a dinner for tomorrow, and his wife had just given him his dinner, and it was half eaten. He was just oh. really... Really going really to hungry. I could tell that he truly, truly was hungry. It's such a, a good way of service. I think it's wonderful, I'm, and I know our people do too. And so I just wanted to shoot this little video to share with them because this is how we embody Christ's welcome to people. Um, I'm going to go over here and show the food. What's for dinner tonight? Hamburgers, mm. and potato slices, and we count out oh, the containers that. before we start, so we yeah. know how many we have. Okay, and get them partially ready so that yeah. people come. It isn't such a hurry to get them. Well, this is great. What a great spread! And a lot of people bring Who's cookies. We appreciate that. Yeah, homemade cookies are the best. Hmm. Yes, well, thank you. Thank you so much. So here we are. We're continuing with our theme of being welcoming. What does it mean to welcome people in the name of Christ? Um, 
This is our furniture ministry that's in partnership with Love in the name of Christ, Love Inc. And um, so here we are with some of our volunteers and clients who are picking up um, some furniture. This is a way of being welcoming. And there's one of our regular volunteers. There's Dawn Weaver. And Dawn, what does it mean to you to welcome people in this way? It brings me a lot of joy and happiness. I'm glad to do it. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's great you're able to continue in this time, COVID. The work goes on, the work of welcoming people. All of our and clients present. are very good about bringing their masks so that they... That's great. That's great. Great news. Well, I'm just going to walk over here now, too, to the, the furniture building, the mission building. And, yeah, people are in need of, of furnishings during this time. People are still moving to new places and needing to get set up. And so yeah. here, here's some more of our crew, hard at work here. And the ladies that do the... And our furniture ministry, look at these. They don't, they don't ask. Our hospitality oh, people <laughs> who are welcoming people, right? Yeah, that's what we're about. We're about welcoming folks. Hi there. So I won't get in your way. I'm just shooting a oh, video okay. just so I can show our okay, show so folks on here. Sunday. Yeah, I don't want people okay. to take that stuff. Here's the work. Guys. There's two guys, three guys. Oh, they're out there with Valerie. Well, I mean, yeah. So well, get the dressers. Yeah. And folks can go in and they, they can search yeah. and get what they want with and the what they need. Uh -huh. I think there is. Wonderful oh, ministry. So so are, we welcome they people in the, right. in the name of Christ. Here's our sign that says, no matter where you are from, we're glad you're our neighbor. Yeah. Love in the name of Christ. That's what it means to welcome others. Also notice that the cross on the building says God's work, our hands. God calls us to be partners in the ministry of welcoming others in the name of Christ. And our furniture ministry is just one of the ways that we do that. Thanks be to God for this ministry that goes on even in this time of coronavirus.